Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. And check it out. The pool is back. And the hole is gone. So everything's pretty much fixed. I do I have to clean right here. It's super duper windy right now, but it's such a beautiful day. And I'm so excited that everything's like all done. And the hole's gone. So I'm very, 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 very happy. Um, yeah, today's actually going to be really warm. Um, I think it's going to be 85 degrees today. So I don't know, we might even jump into the pool. Um, but we'll see, just to celebrate it being fixed again. Yay. All right, you guys, we're going to cut Dad's hair. Cut my clippers. Yeah. Now it's time to cut John's hair. Yay. John, your hair looks Beautiful. Yes, yes. Very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mom made us some delicious fruit smoothies. So good. Now it's Kate's turn. He's a little sticky, but we're gonna cut his hair. All right, we are all done. All right, guys. So I'm super excited because I just finished filming all the haul videos um, from yesterday's thrifting, and now. I feel like we should celebrate by going by going to the Goodwill. Um, what do you guys think? I think we should we, should we do that? Let's go. All right, you guys. We just got to the Goodwill. It is super duper windy, but I'm hoping to find some good stuff. Oh, that bag is like a hot mess. That one's a halogen, the Roxy bag, relic. What's this? It feels so pleathery. All right, you guys, I just found this bright orange lamb bag. I have to get it, it's in fantastic condition. It's so cute. $5.99 sold. All right, you guys, I went through all the handbags. There's pretty much nothing else um, other than this lamb bag, which I'm very fortunate and excited to have found. Let's check out the rest of the store, though. Oh. Look at what's in the cart, this coach bag. 25 is not a bad price for this. It's in really good shape. Sold. Ooh, and an X-Men mug? Okay, this mug is kind of cool. Marvel Comics 2010. Almost vintage. Oh, look at this little globe. It's kind of fun. It's from Studio Decor for $4.99. Hmm. I kind of really like this candlestick holder. $4.99. It's really, really heavy. <gasps> How cute are these little birds? They're like napkin ring holders. Oh, candles. Oh. This is a really cute basket, except it's like has like damage all around it. I still have all that copper stuff there. I thought that was a jalapeno, but it might be a leaf. I can't, I can't really tell. Oh, these are cool. How fun, they're like jars. There's two of them. I wanna see like, if it shows where they're made, nope. They're cute though. They're very like whimsical. Oh, uh, like dried flowers and stuff. Face. Oh, this is actually kind of pretty. Not for food. Pretty. They have a couple Star Wars mugs. I wonder where when these are from. Do you think they're like vintage? I, I don't see a date. Made in China. I can't tell if they're old or new. Star Wars Gallery, who knows?
They still have these cute little cat mugs. These are the ones that are made in England. I think I remember someone saying that they wanted them, but I'm not too sure. Like, if you guys really want something, like, let me know, like, that you really want them and would like me to go get them if they're still at the store. Then I'll get them. Um, but I'm not too sure, and I don't remember who it was. So if you guys are still interested in that, let me know. Because I'll pick them up tomorrow when I come back. Because I'm definitely coming back tomorrow for sure. Because I do have stuff that I have to mail out tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Oh, these are kind of pretty. Look at that. This cookie jar is pretty cute with the polka dots. Harry and David. Not for use in a microwave. They have this right here. It says the Wi-Fi password is, and then you can write it down. How cute is that? It's a dry erase board. I never know what the password is either. I actually don't even know what it is for our house. $6.99. It was $7.99 wherever it came from. Originally $12. It's a little expensive. Look at how cute this bag is. It's kind of like a Birkin, but it's like a Michael Rome Designs bag. Not too familiar. 20 bucks though. I'm actually on the hunt for a specific bag that I saw last time. Um because someone actually told me that they wanted it for their daughter and I don't see it anymore unfortunately That's yeah I don't think I see it anymore it might be gone already look how cute this is it's like a gumball dispenser $6.99 They have like this fake book that has like a peacock. It's like a Christmas fake peacock book. It's kind of cute But just leave it <laughs> I wonder if this Nintendo DS is actually in here No way Nintendo DS Lite Check it out you guys, I think it's working. Let's see if the game works. Totally works you guys. It even has the Lego the Lego Harry Potter game in it. I unplugged it and it just, it does, does hold charge, so I don't know, I might get this. I'm probably just gonna leave it because I don't know if the kids will even play it. But they have like an old timey like projector of like from school. $8.99. They have this vintage Brahmin bag, but it's $30 but I think these are the ones that were like made in USA all right you guys I just left the store I got uh, a couple things so I'll show you guys what I got when we get home um, but now let's go back home before the car blows away because it's really windy Ooh, chicken yum all right you guys so I'm in my room now and I wanted to um, show you guys the bags that I got at the Goodwill. Okay, so first up we have this lamb bag and it is in like a bright orange, it's like in a nylon fabric with like, um, with, I, I, this is probably leather, I'd have to check the label inside, but um, it's like a patent and then it has like kind of like a, like a embossed design on it, if you guys can kind of see, you can kind of see that, right? So yeah, it has two zippers on the outside and the inside is like striped and beautiful um, has a little plaque right there and then there's a little lamb um, zipper pull so cute let me see if I can find that oh, there's the label does it say it on the label made in China polyester and leather okay so yeah I guess it is polyester and then this is um, patent leather so that is Awesome, I'm super excited about that. Um, I do like really like this bag. I love the color. And if you guys um if you guys like follow like the fashion shows right now, I know that like neon orange like this was a huge color um for um the runway shows that were just on uh, that were just had, especially at Louis Vuitton. I believe they had like this bright orange. So I was just like this. So um that is super cool. And this is a lamb bag. Which are so rare because she doesn't even make handbags anymore. And this one is a great one. It's like great, like satchel size, like um, like perfect for school, perfect for every day. Um, you can put a binder in there. So and then it even has 
um, this zip around thing so to like make the bag wider. And then this was only how much? $5.99, which is amazing. And then this coach bag was wow wee. I was so excited for this one too. This one is in fantastic condition. Um, it just needs a little conditioning and then just like maybe like a little um like color refresh on the corners and then like honestly it's gonna look brand new. Um it has like the it's like kind of like a patent suede combination snake embossed leather right here where it says coach and it has a little dongle still it has a top handle and a crossbody which is amazing because we all love that satchel combination um there's the um creed and so I um I think I I was filming today and I was talking a lot about coach bags and authentication and um I was talking about how like the Creed should always have like pr like pretty much perfect stitching. Um if you do see like something like this with the string sticking out, that's totally fine. Like that that happens. That's um like not like gonna that doesn't mean that the bag is fake or anything. So um but yeah. So like I said, also in oh and also in that video I was talking about the lining. Um so Bags that have like the CCs on the outside, like the monogram CC logos from Coach on the outside, never have it on the inside. Only um, bags that are um, solid can have like the CC lining on the inside, but then if it's solid, it can also have a solid lining on the inside. So um, this one just has like a black solid lining, and this one is just the black, um, what is this fabric? Velvet. Velvet? No. Black satin. Yeah. Like black satin kind of lining. So this bag is so great it's in such nice condition and this one was doo -doo -doo -doo, 25 dollars which is a like a steal for this bag honestly like i think this is such a fantastic bag um this bag and then what's crazy too is that this style is fairly new like they still sell this um style in the stores so um that is also awesome and yeah, just needs like, I'm just going to condition it up, um, clean it up. There's like a little white thing right there, but it's coming off with my nails. So that's nothing to worry about. And yeah, so two amazing bags, black and orange, kind of Halloween-ish, but <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. Sorry I was a little bit boring today. I like really just focused on filming and I was cleaning the house a lot um, and then... Oh, cutting everyone's hair. So I cut Dad's hair and John's hair and Kate's hair. So I, yeah, did all that. Um, they love all their haircuts, so that's awesome. Um, I just wish I could cut my own hair, but I can't. Like, I'm not that talented. But um, I'm going to try and cut, get my hair cut on Tuesday. It's just, like, so long. Um, but... Yeah, so that should be pretty fun, and I just filmed a lot of haul videos today. Um, right now, I'm going to start working on tomorrow's videos, um, and then I'm going to try and start um, cleaning, conditioning, and like rehabbing the bags that I did get from yesterday's thrifting, and then I'm going to um, post or try to take photos of them tonight, if like not tomorrow, but I'm definitely going to start um, at least conditioning and cleaning everything tonight. Um, so that I can at least start photographing tomorrow and that'll all be done. Um, but yeah, so that's <laughs> today's adventure. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. It means the world. And for everyone that said that you guys enjoy like the vlogs, even though like they're not like super exciting and not like traipsing around America or the world and like doing all these exciting things, like I, I'm boring. I barely even want to go outside at nighttime. So, there's that too. But, um, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, if you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And I love you guys so, so much. From the bottom of my heart, you guys are amazing. And then you guys mean the world to me. And thank you guys so much for, like, even, like, the opportunity of, like, making these videos. I'm so glad that you guys enjoy them. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the store. Um, and I asked you in yesterday's video if you guys wanted me to start buying like more clothes and shoes um i i got like a, more messages than i thought i would about it so i'm really excited about that you guys said yes to the clothes yes to the shoes um i have been actively looking for shoes already if you guys noticed that i have been getting um quite a few pairs of shoes and i have 
two pairs of Tory Burch's right now. I know they're really popular, um, and I'm gonna try and get those listed. So by the time you see this video, hopefully they're they're gonna be up in the shop already. Um, but don't forget to um, to also add me on Instagram. That's where I pretty much post like things that I start listing up. So I know a lot of you guys are asking like when I start posting things like, and I don't think that Depop actually like really notifies you when I start listing the like items. I'm not too sure, um, but yeah. So <laughs> you, I should like maybe do like an email blast. Do, should you guys want something like that? I don't know. Can I? How do you even do that? I have to figure that out. I don't know how to do anything. To be honest, I'm like flying by my the seat of my pants pretty much whenever I do any of this stuff. So um, thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I'm gonna stop talking. I love you guys. Hope you guys had a great day, great night. Whenever you're watching this, um, say hi down below in the comments. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. The color of the day or the week actually is red. So I'm checking out all the stuff. See what they have that is red. These plates are pretty beautiful. Checking to see if they have any pottery barn or anything here. This still is always a little bit difficult though. I feel like um a lot of the good stuff gets picked over really, really quickly. A lot of people go to this store. So you gotta be quick and on your